In this follow-up to last week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can jump back to a previous slide precisely right down to the fraction of a second. Okay, so last week I did a tutorial that was about jumping to a secret or hidden help page that was bypassed in your normal navigation uh, from any slide in your e-learning course using a special help icon. Uh, one of the challenges with this though is let's say you've got a slide in your e-learning course like in this one here where we have a well, in this case here, it's almost a 12 minute video, an 11 minute video. So the problem here, of course, is let's say I'm 10 minutes into this 11 minute video and I jump back to the help page to learn something I need to know. And if I simply return to this slide, I'll start right back at the beginning of the video, which is not really a great experience. So I'm gonna take advantage of a system variable that's known as CP command go to frame and resume. And I'll show you how that works right now. So in this particular case, so here is my first slide in the course. This course uh, simply bypasses this and jumps straight to slide three, skipping what is my help page. So here would be instructions or uh, maybe some key knowledge that users might need to reference throughout the course. Um, and then, of course, here's my first, uh, technically my first slide of the course or first uh, title page of the course. And from there, it will proceed uh, to, in this case here, an 11 minute video. So on this first slide, I have my um, SVG icon, which previously was set up to just simply jump to slide two. I'm going to change a few things about it. Um, Let's make sure that there's no pause on that particular button. Uh, in this case here, we need to write a little advanced action. And what we're going to do is change our current on success jump to slide number two to execute advanced action. We don't have any scripts written so far. So I'm going to click on the advanced action icon. And I think I'll call this help underscore jump. Before I start writing the advanced action though, I need a user variable. This user variable is how I'm gonna keep track of the precise location where the user is jumping back to this help page from. So I need to click on the variables button in the bottom right-hand corner of my advanced action window. And from here, I can create that, that tracking variable, if you will. So I'm gonna click on add new, I'm gonna call this V underscore jump underscore frame. I don't need to, uh, to assign a value to it because that's gonna be done later on. I could uh, put a description in here and this would be particularly useful if you're working with other developers and you just wanna explain what the purpose of this variable is. Let's hit save and uh, let's hit close. And now we can start writing our first advanced action. So first thing we need to do is we need to assign something to that variable. So let's assign v jump frame with, and we're gonna use a system variable. And inside Captivate, there is a system variable that keeps track of the current frame within the e-learning course. And it's called CP info current frame. And there it is. And now I'm going to jump to slide number two, where my help page is. I'm gonna save this as an advanced action, click OK, click Close, and you can see here, this icon will now execute that advanced action and we've called it Help Jump. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to our help page where we have that return button that will return the user back to where they left from. In this case here, we're going to need to change that from go to slide last visited to something a bit more precise. Because again, if I simply go to slide last visited and they jumped from slide four where that, where that 11 minute movie is from, it's gonna start at the beginning of that 11 minute movie. So in this case here, we're gonna write another advanced action. So execute advanced action. We're gonna create a new advanced action 
So I'm going to click on this little icon here, the plus icon. And what we'll call this one is return. And all we need to do is take advantage of another system variable in Captivate. And it's a system variable that also is a command or an action as well. So we're going to assign CP command go to frame and resume. And we're going to assign CP command go to frame and resume with our tracking variable. So V underscore jump frame. And that's it. We're going to save this as an action. Click OK. Click close. Make sure we're pointing at that return advanced action. And we're pretty much good to go. So let's test this out and make sure it works. So I'm going to preview this in HTML5 in browser. So here's my title page. I'll click next to start the video. And let's wait a little bit until the video gets going so that we know that we're a little bit into the video. That's actually the video you're seeing. That's not me talking right now. In fact, just to illustrate the real advantage of this, Let's drag this video on the play bar a good few minutes into the video here and continue to play. So there we are. We're watching me demonstrate um, one of the new features in Captivate 2019. And if I've decided that I need some supplemental information from that help page, I can click this help icon here. And we'll jump to my help page. Great, I've learned what I needed to learn. And now I wish to go back to the video, but I don't want to start the video all over again. Good news, it brings me back to exactly where I left off. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com Follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.